Alright, what's up guys? Zami here and you're watching Heavy Metal Pump. So like I mentioned in the last video that I uploaded, I did purchase the Professor Juniper Premium Tournament Collection Box. It is finally here, arrived today and I'm gonna rip into this very very soon but I figured I might do something slightly different rather than just opening this box on its own. So what I purchased today as well was the Mani Premium Tournament Collection Box got this for a pretty decent price it was still i would still call it scalp prices but it wasn't as bad as it could have been so i was i was willing to pay the price that it, it costs so that's fine so i figured let's open both these boxes and kind of compare the contents because I, I actually never got a chance to purchase the money one when it came out and now that i have the professor juniper one might as well do the two side by side. So if you're talking about the design of the boxes, they're pretty much in the same style, the, the milk carton style of box. Design-wise, they're kind of similar just in their own styles. Of course, you have Professor Juniper on this box and you have Marnie on this one. The contents are gonna be rather similar as well, but I'll talk about that when we're opening it all up. I guess maybe we'll do the Professor Juniper box first and then the Marnie one second and just compare uh, the contents of the two. I guess we shall just rip into this. Uh, I don't really know what's the best way to open this up, to be honest. I kind of see like a perforation on the edge here. I guess that's the best way. I'm just gonna like carefully rip it open. It feels so sinful to do this. It feels wrong. But I want the contents inside. All right. I can see what's inside. Let's just dunk it all out. Right, I'm gonna put the box to the side. Right, let's get the, the more boring stuff out of the way. Here we have the status counters. So if you play the TCG, you can use these. These do look slightly nicer than the ones you get from ETBs. I kind of like the silver. You also get a jumbo coin with Professor Juniper on it. Now, I do like the design. I love the green foiling on it. I just really don't understand why Pokemon are resilient on making jumbo coins. Like, why do they have to be comically large? Just make them normal sized coins. It'll be like way better. Seriously, man. Also, we do have the damage counters as well. You don't get a dice. You know like how in ETBs you get like a specific dice that's kind of used similarly as a coin? You don't get one of those in here, but you do get damage counters which I actually really like the colors of these now you also get sleeves uh, not sure what you know what let's just see how the sleeves are are they gonna be yep they're gonna be the same like your standard ETB sleeves the frosted front which are terrible so I don't think I'll ever use these for playing at least but if you're just using sleeves for Protecting your cards, these will do just fine. Now you do get some stuff inside this deck box, but I'll talk about that in a second. You do get some promo cards in these boxes as well. Oh, you can't see the promo cards. You know what? I'm not one to keep stuff sealed, so let's just let's just open it up. Yeah, I'm gonna put the code card to the side because I will use them in PTCG online. All right, let's look at the promo cards that you get. So you get, oh, okay. I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping that they'd look different. <laughs> Cause, okay, I'll show you guys the money ones later when I unbox it, but the money cards, even though it's still the same exact card as all the other money supporter cards that you get in the TCG, at least the design is different. I was kind of hoping that the professor's research card would look in that same style, like basically have a different design, but this is basically just the same design but with a foiling. It does have like a bleed foiling. I don't know if that was intended, but I guess that's a thing. So yeah, you go, you get three of these holographic professors research, which I guess is fine. I just kind of, honestly speaking, I was kind of hoping to see a different art for these cards, but you also get one full art professors research, which is a promo one that you can only get from these uh, tournament collection boxes, which, oh my God, almost dropped that, but I actually really like the design for this. This is really nice art. This this looks really good, not gonna lie. So yeah, I'm just kinda a bit let down by the the other supporter cards that you get. Alright, let's take a look at what's 
inside the deck box. Uh, maybe before I open it up, I'll just show you the deck box itself. It's a decent quality. I mean, it's not anything outstanding. It's just a very typical flimsy plastic deck box. Will my camera focus on it? There we go. All right. But yeah, the, the problem with this deck box is that the size is not going to fit your deck. Like even if you single sleeve your deck, it is not going to fit. You're not going to be able to fit a sleeve deck of 60 in this. I think it keeps focusing on that card. Will it focus properly now? I think there's so called too many faces for, for my camera to focus, sorry about that. So yeah, the problem with this deck box is the size. It is way too small to keep anything useful, but it is a nice box regardless. Now what's more important is what's inside it, because you do get 7 packs inside. So you get uh, what seems to be 3 brilliant stars. Two fusion strike, one evolving skies, and one chilling rain as well, which is a really decent spread. Not gonna lie, I'm actually very happy to see the selection of packs you get in this. So yeah, that's basically the contents of the Professor Juniper Premium Tournament Collection box. I think I'm gonna open up the money one, and then we'll do the pack opening side by side. All right, now let's rip open the money Premium Tournament Collection. I guess I'll just open it in the same way that I did the juniper box just carefully rip that open and let's just dunk everything out right so let's go through the contents of this one so status counters these ones are more basically the same ones that you get from ETB so I don't know why the ones that you get from the Professor, Pro, Professor Juniper box were different, but I'm fine with either. They're just practically the way if you play the TCG. Now the damage counters for these ones are pink, of course, in the style of money. Uh, not the biggest fan of pink personally, but they, they do look nice. Once again, you do get a jumbo coin for the money box as well. And again, I do like the design, but my main complaint is with the size of jumbo coins in general. I just think they are very stupid and impractical right you also get sleeves for these ones not bad not bad looking sleeves at all but again they're in the same style as the your normal pokemon etb sleeves so i think great in terms of quality but just nice looking sleeves if you're into that kind of stuff now let's look at the promo cards i did sort of like catch a glimpse of it earlier i'm just gonna put the code card to the side I think I'm going to rearrange it because I want to see the full art one last. So, like I mentioned earlier, the design or more like the art of the money cards for on these ones are actually different from your regular money supporter card. So I was kind of hoping that was the case for the professor's research cards, which is, yeah, I'm still kind of disappointed by that. So yeah, you do get three of these money cards and I definitely will be using these in one of my decks. And then of, of course you get the full art promo money as well which looks super super nice the centering on mine is kind of ass not gonna lie but still something that's really nice for me to keep in my collection and of course you get the similar deck box as well once again similar design in terms of the whole presentation for these money boxes but again the size is kind of impractical so that kind of sucks right, let's just see what packs we get in this one so you get vivid voltage Darkness Ablaze, why are these upside down? So yeah, Vivid Voltage, Darkness Ablaze, chilling, 3 Chilling Rains, and 2 Battle Styles, nice. I mean, you can't expect to see Brilliant Stars and Fusion Strike in the money boxes because the money boxes came out way before those sets were released, so still a nice pack selection to see in these. Yeah, I'm just gonna get everything out of the way and then we can do the pack openings and just kinda compare to see which one has better pulls. Alright, and I think now we can dive into the pack openings. So as you can see, I kind of made two different sides here. We have the Professor Juniper side on the left and the Mani side on the right. Got all the packs stacked together. So I think I'm going to open... Uh, for the Juniper box, we got Chilling Rain, Evolving Skies, 2 Fusion Strike and then 3 Brilliant Stars. I'm going to do... The packs with the most quantity, I'm going to do last. So for the Mani side, I'm going to do Vivid Voltage, Darkness Ablaze, the two battle styles and the three chilling rain in that order and i will just kind of go through and see which one has better pulls right maybe we'll start with the money side just because it's 
an older box that came out like way, way back when. I kind of forgot when it came out. So we're gonna do Vivid Voltage first. Alright, code card to the side, four cards to the front. Oh no, the light died. Hopefully it's still bright enough for you guys to see. Alright, first pack of the opening, we have a Water Energy, Shuckle, Delmice, Trumbeak, Drillbur, Clefairy, Wilma, Tynamo, Execute, a Reverse Holo, Gogo, and the last card is... Zekrom Holographic! Wow, that is super fitting because I'm using my Zekrom playmat which is custom printed by the way, if you guys are wondering. Alright, first pack of the night, we got a Holographic Rare so I can't really complain. Alright, let's do one from the Professor Juniper side, let's do Chilling Rain. Now I don't really know what to expect in terms of pull rates for either of these boxes. Like I've seen people open the money box and get insane pulls and sometimes it isn't and same for the Juniper boxes as well. So it's kind of hard to really gauge if you have any like definitive amount of pulls that you can expect from these boxes. Anyways, let's see what's in Chilling Rain. We have a Psychic Energy, Crabominable, Spiral Energy, Honey, Clobopus, Grookey, Sneasel, Weedle, Galarian Farfetch'd, a Reverse Holo Scroll of the Skies, and the last card is... A Walray non-holographic. Alright, so so far I guess the money box is in the lead with one holographic hit. Alright, let's go for Darkness Ablaze next. So I'm just gonna alternate between the two. Let's see if the money box can keep up and continue the streak. That pack opened horribly, but let's not address that. Alright, one, two, three, four to the front. Let's see what's in Darkness Ablaze. I have not opened Darkness Ablaze in a while. Got a Steel Energy, Lunatone, Simisia, Vibrava, Bounce Sweet, Spinarak, Panpaw, Diglett, Jigglypuff, a Reverse Holo Steeny, and the last card is Pinkachin Holographic. Wow! First of all, I've never seen this card. Secondly, I didn't think there was a Pinkachin Holographic Rare in this set. So, wow! Two Holographic Rares from the Money Box, and they're both Electric type. I will not say no to those. Alright, let's go for one from the Juniper box. We've got Evolving Skies. Alright, one, two, three, four. Let's see what's in Evolving Skies. We have a Psychic Energy, Everlug, Palpatode, Nuzleaf, Slack Off, Emolga, Carvana, Bergmite, Nicket, a Reversolo Rebombi, and the last card is. Stoutland non-holographic. Alright, so far Juniper Box has not yet gotten any pulls, but it's fine. It's fine. Anyways, the money box only has like holographic res anyways. So it's not really leading that far, I guess, if you're gonna talk in terms of value. Alright, let's go for a battle styles from the money box. Now I know a lot of people don't like battle styles, but I for one don't really mind it. I kinda like a lot of the cards in it just because there are so many playable cards in Battle Styles. So yeah, let's see what's in Battle Styles. We have a Lightning Energy, Durant, Single Strike Style Mustard, got Cheryl, Yamper, Lickitung, Zubat, Remoraid, Onyx, a Reverse Hollow Fan of Waves, and the last card is Salazzle so Non Holographic. Alright, All right, let's go for Fusion Strike from the Juniper Box. Let's see if Fusion Strike can bless us with a hit for the Juniper Box. So, because I think that's been like, I think this is the third pack. So, let's see if we can get anything from this one. We've got one, two, three, four to the front. Alright, let's see Fusion Strike. We've got a Water Energy, Chili, Cillin and Crest, Schoolboy, Gliscor, Galarian Darumaka, Sizzlypede, Stuffle, Sandy Guest, Pulse, a Sizzly Pete, Reverse Hollow, and the last card is Electros Non Holographic. Wow, so far nothing from the Juniper box. Alright, let's go for the second Battle Styles from the Money Box. Let's see if the Money Box can bless us with more pulls. Alright, 
one two three four second battle styles let's see what we got we got a fire energy more peko durant single strike style mustard glamiao galerian slowpoke yamper murkrow salandit a reverse holo primate and the last card is a holographic houndoom nice very very playable card I actually do play these in my Grim Snarl deck. This is very welcome, not gonna lie. Right, so far we've got like three hits from the money box. Let's see if Fusion Strike from the Juniper box can give us something to get things on par at least. Code to the side, four to the front. All right, Fusion Strike number two. Let's see what we got. We got a Dark Energy, Graveler, Musharna. Oops, my bad. Got Heat more. Growlithe, Stuffle, Sigilith, a Toxel, Totodile, a Reverse Hollow, Eldegoss, and the last card is. Ooh, Appleton V. Not bad, not bad. I would count that as like two holographic hits, <laughs> I guess. So I, I guess the Juniper box is starting to catch up. But we still have three more packs from each box. We've got three chilling range from the money box and three brilliant stars from the juniper box. So let's just see what else we get from these boxes. Let's go with a chilling rain from the money box. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four to the front. Let's see chilling rain from the money box. We've got a fire energy, Caitlyn, lucky energy, nice, Galarian chestplate, Kapfu, Hetena, Sobble, Bound Sweet. Furfrow, a reverse holo, Galarian Surfetched, and the last card is. Ooh, Holographic Intellion. Another playable card, so I really, really cannot complain. Wow. Wow, that is actually a really good hit. That's a really good hit. Right. The Juniper box has a lot of catching up to do, so let's go with Brilliant Stars. Let's see if we can catch up for the Juniper box. Go to the side, for to the front. Oh, we got a V star marker in this one, and it's the other way around. <laughs> so yeah, we got a V star marker. Barry, Staravia, Gloria, Grimer, Execute, Farfetched, Shinx, Kapchu. Oh, yo! <laughs> oh my God. We've got a trainer gallery pool right over here. I was not expecting that. We've got the Rapid Strike Urshifu V trainer gallery. God damn. This is nice. And we still have one more card behind this. And it is a Wormer Dam. Holy nuts. That is... That is damn nice, yo. Alright. So far, I would say this puts the Juniper box on par with the Money box. Easily. God damn. That's a good hit. We've got two more packs from each side. Let's see. Let's just see what we get. Let's go with Chilling Rain from the money box. One, two, three, four. Alright, let's see what's in this one. We got a Steel Energy, Whirlipede, Thwacky, Peony, Galarian Yamask, Coughing, Shuppet, Squovet, Sfeel, a reverse holo greedent and the last card is Ductrio non holographic. Alright, so the hits from the money box are kinda slowing down in some sense. Alright, let's go for the second brilliant stars pack from the Juniper box. Let's see if we can get another spicy hit from from the Juniper box. We got four to the front and let's see what's in this one. We got a water energy, magma basin, hit on top, luxio. Shinx, Milsri, Purloin, Spiritomb, Stali, a Reverse Holo Gabite, and the last card is Luxray Non Holographic. Alright, okay, last two packs. We got one Chilling Rain from the Money Box and one Brilliant Stars pack from the Juniper Box. Any guesses as to which box do you think will have better hits? Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. Let's just see what's in the last Chilling Rain pack from the money box. Go to the side, four to the front. 
Alright, let's see what's in the last pack from the money box. We got a Water Energy, Hetram, Drizzile, Peony, Hatena, Rock Ruff, Shuppet, Cast Form, Snowy Form, Ghastly, a Reverse Holo, Galarian Chestplate, and the last card is Tapu Fini Holographic. Alright, so from the money box, all we got were holographic rares kind of sad in some ways but if you're talking about quantity at least five out of seven packs that's not too bad i guess i know some people don't really count holographic rares as hits i do especially when they're playable ones like the houndoom and intellion specifically so I, I can't really complain anyways let's see what's in the last pack from the juniper box let's see if brilliant stars can overtake the hits from the money box Let's see what's in this last pack for the night. Go to the side, four to the front. All right, last Brilliant Stars pack from the Juniper box. Let's see what's inside. We got a Steel Energy, Double Turbo Energy. Very nice. Toko, Clang, Buizel, Howlucha, Electabuzz, Bidoof, Clefairy, a Reverse Holo Staravia. And the last card is... Go look non-holographic. Alright, so these are the hits from the two boxes. We got five holographic rares from the money box and one V and one trainer gallery V from the Juniper box. So what do you guys think? Who do you think won in this challenge? Do you think the Juniper box won or do you think the money box won? For me personally, uh, not gonna lie, it's a bit of a hard pick just because the Rapid Strike Urshifu V is a really sick pull not gonna lie but at the same time getting playable hits like the Inteleon and the Houndoom from the money box these are really damn good hits okay not gonna lie from a player's perspective I'm actually really stoked to get these so I can't really complain from that aspect so yeah what do you guys think let me know in the comments below so yeah I think that's pretty much gonna conclude my opening of the Professor Juniper and Mani premium tournament collection boxes very happy to have opened these so yeah let me know what you guys think have you guys gotten these boxes have you guys opened them what kind of hits that you get let me know in the comments below other than that like subscribe all that youtube nonsense and i'll see you guys in the next one peace